Hey guys, welcome to my video on how to delead your CPU, whether it be Intel or AMD. This should help you out. This is my first video. I have delidded a CPU before, but um, yeah, I decided I might start making a few YouTube videos, how to's. I'm currently working on a computer within a desk, a PC desk mod. This, that'll be interesting. That's pretty much while my room's in a mess right now, but um, nothing I can do about that until I finish building the desk. Um, might even start filming some game footage, but anyway, for now, let's concentrate on the video. How to delid your CPU and improve your temperatures. I've got this, I've got this old CPU here, it is an AMD CPU. And I'm just going to show you how this works. So what you want first is a nice sharp razor blade. Obviously you need your CPU. And over here I've just got some cloth and other stuff, but we'll get into that later. What you want to what you want to first do is you want to try and get the sharp end of the razor blade and try and get it in between the PCB which is this board here, try not to touch the back here as well, you don't want to damage any of them in between the PCB and the metal plate on the... try and get the corners first, this will make it a lot easier for you so you just slowly do it now you don't want to go too far in because there is a die right in the middle and you really do not want to hit that try and also try and keep your blade as straight as possible while you're going in because you don't want to bend the uh, PCB or anything else really okay that corner's done take your time as well that's how far you need to go in. That you don't need to go any further than that. So just bring it around. Third corner. That's good there. Make sure that goes. Okay, once all the corners are done, get the razor, put it in the corner, and bring it around. Till it cuts through the straight. Don't go too far in. That's as f about as far as you want to go in. Get that. Go in this corner. Come down the straight. That's good. The only reason you'd want to do something like this is if your temperatures are really bad and you've tried to fix it with water cooling, it still doesn't work, or you know, you still want to stick with fan cooling, but there's no way to get your temperatures lower. What's happened is, in the past, they used to solder the the um, the metal heat plate to the CPU die, and that that made it so there was better thermal conductivity. Now they just use a cheap thermal paste which is just it's just terrible but um, I only recommend doing this if your temperatures are bad okay once you've got it all loose just try and give it a few turns just loosen it up a bit anything that's still sticking don't force it Go back in and cut through the adhesive. And 
there we have it. I just drew a little diagram here for anyone with an Intel chip. On the copper plate, so the copper plate would be there, and each side of it are these little wings, and the PCB, sorry, the, um, the CPU die, which is this thing here, it runs perpendicular to these wings here. So when you are when you're cutting through the glue around here, you don't you really, really, really want to be careful of where you go, how far you go in on the straights on the top and the bottom, because um, you do not want to damage that. Oops. So this is an old one, doesn't matter if it's broken or anything, I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay, what you want to do now is, you want to try and remove as much of this adhesive as you can, because when you're reapplying your own thermal paste, you um, want the best contact between the dye and the piece, uh, and the metal heat plate as you can. So if you get all of this off, it should make a nice contact with it. Oh, if you hear any bird in the background, just don't mind that. Just get as much as you can off. It's not vital to get everything off, but you know, if you've got a nice clean got nice clean contact between the sepia die and the copper copper metal plate you'll get better temperatures okay once that's done you want to try and get some off the piece of but this is one that you have to be very very careful of because you do not want to damage any components So go very slow and take your time. Now a lot of people might not say that it's necessary to take the adhesive off, but I tried deligging one of my CPUs and I didn't worry about the adhesive and I actually ended up with worse temperatures than what I had before. But um, when I removed this adhesive and you know, reapplied my thermal paste, thermal grease. It, um, yeah, temperatures went down. Worked really well. So this is coming off pretty easy. It's um, not very hard to do. I think that'll do for now. You just get the idea. Okay. So here we are. I've removed much as I could. As I said, I'm not going to be using this chip. It's a really old, old chip. I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it. Now that you've removed all the adhesive, you want to get some isopropyl alcohol and clean all of this old thermal grease off and apply your new one. So, just wait there guys, I'll get the alcohol and show you what to do. So I have the alcohol, the chip, a bit of alcohol on my cloth, and we just wipe everything off. Give it a good, good, good clean. Okay, now as you can see, looks pretty clean. But if I gave it another 
another wash with some more alcohol I guarantee this bottle will end up dirty it's very very good to get it as clean as you can Do you just get the idea? That's pretty clean. It's clean enough. I'm not going to be using this chip anyway. Yeah, it's dirty. Now you want to do the same with the sepia dye, but you don't want to go too hard. You don't want to damage any of the components. Just give that a light rub. Okay, so I'd give this another rub over. Um, you want it as clean as possible, but just use, you get the idea, just for the sake of this video, keep it a bit shorter. I'm not going to worry about that because this thing's going in the bin anyway. Okay, so got them both clean. What you want to do is you want to grab some thermal paste. Oh, I don't want to use any of my wood thermal paste. I'm just going to use some rubbish wherever it is. Over here. Okay, you don't need a lot for this, but you want a line because this is the main thing that really needs to be covered. So you want a line right down the middle. Not too much, because it'll spread out. Just a line like that, that should be enough. And you could see the previous film paste it, if you can see that. That just spread out. That would have spread it out from the the weight put on it when it gets clamped down. Okay, so doesn't matter which way you reapply it on. Just put it on there. Okay, so now that we have the copper plate back on top, you want to, I don't know, the motherboard to show you, that's free, but you just want to slip it into the motherboard socket, clamp it down, and once it's clamped down, that should push the copper plate down onto the CPU die, and that will spread the thermal grease all the way out to cover it. Um, and that will give you a lot better temperatures and there's no adhesive sort of stopping it from contacting the PCB. Um, once you've got that down, you want to give the, the, the top of the copper plate a bit of a, a, bit of a clean with the um, alcohol as well because you really, really want these thermal um, surfaces to be as clean as they can because you'll get better temperatures, better thermal conductivity, and this works a lot better. So yeah, there you have it. That's how you delid and fix your temperatures for your CPU.